Hey, how's it going guys? This is Twister and today I'm bringing you another GTA Online video and this one is going to be a bit of a car showcase with a little bit of a different twist to it because today I'm going to be actually uh, showing you guys what I think are, in my opinion, the best cars to drive around in first person. So before I actually get into this video, I want you guys to comment what are your cars to drive around in first person because I want you guys to do this before you actually uh, see what cars I've got in this little countdown to see how how the cars we uh, we have basically compare to each other and see uh, which different cars we've selected and also if you do love driving around in first person or you want to get into a uh, bit of the first person driving in GTA uh, I'll leave a link to one of my previous videos down in the description which basically gives you guys some really awesome tips when it comes to driving in first person but anyway let's get on to this uh, to this countdown and I'm going to be doing my top three in this video and uh, the third best car to drive that I think is uh, a good car to drive in first person is the Karen Astro. Now, the reason for this is although it's fair, it's a fairly average car just on its own. But in first person, the windscreen is absolutely massive, and it just doesn't feel like your view's restricted at all. So you can just see pretty much everywhere, and it's actually quite a pleasant experience driving in first person. Like I said, although the car's nothing special itself, in th in first person, it is actually quite relaxing to drive, and it is just quite a nice car to drive overall so that's a pretty good one next up uh, in the number two spot which is I think the second best car to drive in first person this is the D-Class Rhapsody so this car is a really really awesome compact just as it is but similar to the Astro when you go into first person it's just such an unrestricted car and you can see pretty much everything like once again the windscreen just seems absolutely massive on it so when you're driving around in first person, it's just really good, you just get to see everything and that's what I think is good about some of these cars in first person that a lot of the time you are restricted, your view just seems really really restricted when you're in just like any other car but these cars in particular that I've chosen really focus on having a, having a view that's not as restricted as basically many of the other cars in the game so I also want to see if you guys actually prefer driving in first person I don't really expect many people to actually prefer driving in first person mainly because it is quite hard to get used to and like I said most cars do restrict your view quite a lot so it's hard to see like where your car's positioned on the road compared to other cars and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah that'd be interesting to know. Also this Rhapsody itself it's, uh, it's probably the best compact I mean some of you guys might prefer driving the Panto but in terms of first person driving I find the Panto quite difficult because you can clip like any other, any other object such as a, another car like a lamppost or just bins on the side of the road or something like that and your car will go flying even if you just clip them slightly while going somewhat at high speed and you, the Panto just goes uh, flying but the Rhapsody itself is a it's such it's such a smooth car to drive and really good in first person especially around these areas that I'm uh, driving around now in Vinewood Hills I think these roads uh, suit this car suit this car in particular quite well when it comes to first person so uh, that's why I do like the Rhapsody but now in the in the first, uh, the first place as the car that I prefer the most in the game to drive in first person, it is the BF Bifter, the uh, the little June buggy go kart, however you want to call it. But yeah, this one is, it's probably the best and it's probably the most fun as well. I mean, like I said, it's uh, it's got like a little bit of a bit of a roll cage, I guess, around the around the top of the around the top of the actual vehicle, and you can just see everything. Like that's the only thing that's kind of blocking you away, and even that in itself, it's. It's not too much blocking your blocking your view and you're restricting your view and it's it's so fun to drive off road. It's uh, you can like feel every little bump and it might be a little bit off putting in this video if uh, if you guys do get like a little bit of motion sickness or whatever. But I think it really does add to uh, to how immersively uh, this car just fits well in this game and like like I said, just the immersion of driving this car in first person. And like I said, it is so fun to drive off road. All the little bumps. Just doing all the uh, all the dirt roads as you've seen in the gameplay right now. Uh, driving up the hills, I reckon driving up and down Mount Chiliad in this thing in first person would just be so much fun. Like if you had a full lobby and everyone's in first person driving this uh, driving this Bifton, and I just think it would be uh, would be so cool. I guess another benefit with this vehicle while you're driving it in first person is that you can still actually really really identify the colours you've got on the actual car. Like not many cars when you're driving them in first person, you can't really see the colours you have on them that well so it doesn't make too much of a difference to when you're driving them in first person but this car you can clearly see that I've got the nice blue and black paint job which I, I do like on this car so uh, it, it's just another another reason that this car is really really good in first person so there we go hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video like I said it is something a little bit different 
But I also think it's something, you know, you guys might have enjoyed this video. And if there's any other kind of like top three or, or countdown videos of, uh, of the cars in this game that you would like to see, and also leave that in the comments as well. As I'd love to do more of these videos, definitely make sure you uh, you leave a comment saying what your top three or top five vehicles are to drive in first person because there's probably a lot more that I probably haven't even got to try in first person. But just from uh, just from playing the game normally, these are some of the vehicles I just re you know really enjoy driving around in first person. So there we go. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you do leave it a like rating. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe to the channel as well for to keep up with my videos in the future. And with that being said, I'll hopefully see you all in my next video. See you later, guys.